Okay, welcome to the final video in the concept art series for beginners. And in this video, what I'd like to do is basically go to detail. What I'd like to do is show you here how you import textures into your texture library so you could use them with your texture brushes. So you just go to the tab and to import and then select the texture uh, that you would like. And I'll do that again. So I'm selecting another texture. I like these textures from, they're actually like nebulas from NASA's uh, website. They have royalty free photos in NASA's, at NASA's website. And so we'll zoom back out and I picked a texture that I didn't mean to pick and you can see there's the transform of texture. So when you select one there's different toggles under the transform type you can scale it up, down, move it, rotate it, which I'm going to do uh, right now. Uh, so rotate the image and then select it back, scale it back up, and then use it uh, with your texture brushes. So as soon as I commit, and I'll do that here in just a second, I'm going to move that down because I picked this nebula to kind of mimic because it has a light source in that lower area. That's why I rotated it so it kind of mimics the light, dramatic light that I have down there behind the uh, Headless Horseman. So I've just committed to that section and you can see it disappears and I will grab a glazing brush and then start to glaze on top and you can see I, I uh, messed up and I forgot to put it on a separate layer. Uh, that's why nothing was happening. So putting it on a separate layer to kind of just punch up the color just a little bit using the toggle and my color control toggle under my texture menu. I have the the color, the current color from my color wheel selected. So now you can see I've selected kind of a, that's uh, Corel's um, one of their uh, default uh, textures that you get with the program uh, and it's peeling paint and I thought that would be a cool ground plane and so now I have I had the uh, texture color selected so I went back to select current color so that I can control the color of that particular texture and then you can see I'm flattening the image and um, and then this is where I'm just adding a lot of different textures in order to you can see I'm starting to use that cool texture uh, with an abstracted shape and kind of gives us a sense of foliage and maybe some branches uh, and things like that and then I change the different functions to uh, hard light and I'll see how they how they adhere to the painting going back to another one of my uh, art table mess textures and use the the uh, texture color from the from the actual source and I've made it a soft light so I don't get a lot of the color but I do get a little bit of a tint of that color and you can see here's an abstract shape and I'm just going to look at a few different ones uh, and then uh, see where we go from there and here's another one this is Corel's art table mess texture and you can see that I'm I got it off the texture color and I'm going to go with a chosen color you can see over there in the texture menu I've got current color selected and that's painting it the color of the hue that I've chosen in my color wheel and you can see I'm I'm uh, just just uh, kind of beating it up, continuing to move it around, using that texture over and over, and then moving it into different places to, again, play with some color, which is going on underneath, and that was a layer function. Now I'm back to the constructing brush, and uh, continuing to fine edge. Going to cool down some of this, and and here is just it's the it's the noodle stage. This is where I'm I'm detailing, making the shapes read a little bit better, creating a little bit stronger overlap, or uh, 
move uh, some of the leaves away as you see here that was becoming a too straight of a line across there and so this is the stage where I really start looking uh, at the detail uh, is there tangents uh, are there edges that I haven't developed uh, is the color not working as you can see over in the right hand side right now I will eventually fix it but on the right hand side uh, because of the, some of the textures I've used, my light on that tree is now uh, cool or warm, and I will have to cool that down to unify again my light source, my light side, and my dark side, whether it's warm or cool. Um, and I'm just going back through and playing with the the surfaces and developing interesting surface texture through the paintbrush. I'm using the constructing brush again uh, in the glazing media and then I'll run the blender speckle palette knife uh, over that to create a little bit more of a of a oil feel. And, and basically this is the stage where um, the other three stages set the the mood of the painting, set the composition of the painting, and it really is its the deciding factor in that short period of time of 45 minutes to an hour whether I'm going to take this painting uh, to finish or not. And this one I kind of liked how it was going so it's worthy of, of finish. If something's not worthy of finish just you know leave it for another day uh, or toss it and start over. It's no, uh, no use beating a a bad painting up you know so uh, and you really f you can really get an idea of whether it's going to be working or not in the first three stages the shape the form uh, and the color and then in this stage I get to play for the next hour uh, on detail and just running through the painting uh, and developing the kind of the, the detail uh, to add to the story and so we just keep painting along, getting some of that foliage in there, strengthening that silhouette just a little bit of the Headless Horseman. You can see that in the Headless Horseman I opened up, he was a little bit too closed in. I wanted to open it up a little bit more on the, the light side. So I diffused that tree that was there uh, to make it look like it's uh, being overwhelmed by that kind of mysterious light source. And I don't really need to explain that light source. It's a kind of a fantasy piece, but I have to unify the light sources. So, and I just keep bouncing around, moving through the painting, and this is how the painting ended up right here. So, I hope you enjoyed watching these videos. Take care. Mm -hmm.